Letakkan jawatan saya sebagai Presiden UMNO dan semua jawatan-jawatan oh, dengan pengumuman yang telah dibuat tadi oleh the gathering in Malaysia's capital Kuala Lumpur for a rally calling for freer elections Malaysian police have fired tear gas and water cannons at hundreds, hundreds if not thousands of police have surrounded the Masjid Jamak Mosque now they've sprayed chemicals problem. on the protesters they're doing it again now, now as you this can is see. an attempt to quash the protest the government had declared this protest illegal and said that it would on jeopardize the Malaysia's information ministers I knew it violent violent scenes that we saw earlier today there, there is a, your interpretation is violent it's not for the violent. second time in two weeks demonstrations in Malaysia's biggest city Kuala Lumpur have been this broken up thousands of people have converged on the city center to call for equal rights for ethnic Indians has gathered in the early morning just by being here they were in open defiance protesting the, the colonial policies of Britain ethnic Indians wanted to deliver a petition to the British High Commission but in reality with warnings to fire this is a defining moment unprecedented in Malaysia's history in which the country's ruling coalition suffered its biggest losses since independence 50 years ago. It was the night Malaysia confronted a new reality the ruling coalition still has a simple majority but it no longer controls two-thirds of parliament Dr. Sri Najib Tun Razak was sworn in as Malaysia's sixth Prime Minister Friday taking over from Dr. Sri Abdullah Ahmad Badawi who stepped down to after before the, the country. King Najib Razak becomes Malaysia's sixth Prime Minister and takes over a job some say is one of the most troubled in Asia they promised to stay behind police barricade but an hour after the official start of their rally a small group of Bursi protesters breached the razor wire and rushed for independence Square. Thousands more followed. The police response was uncompromising. This morning, I sought the Malaysian king's consent to dissolve the announcement the 12th came Parliament finally after months of speculation. Dissolved Parliament on Wednesday, paving the way for a general election expected this month that could be the most closely contested his ruling coalition has faced in its 56 year rule.